Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we are installing Windows XP. Yes, we are installing Windows XP in 2023. But Windows XP is a pretty good operating system and it is really well for older software or if you have a really old machine that just needs to work. So anyway, so here's the website. So I'll put a link down below so you can go to this website and you will see uh, Windows XP version or SP3. So this is the version that we will be installing and here is the serial number. So if you uh, need to activate it, then this is the serial key that we will be using to activate this. So to download this ISO, you just hit here. It says ISO image and it should just start downloading. So it shouldn't take too long because well it is pretty, pretty lightweight. Anyway I have this downloaded so I won't download it again. But that's how you download this. So then you just have to make a bootable USB and then what you have to do it is get Rufus and uh, if you don't know how to get this just get on Google and just search for Rufus and there you go. That's basically how you get and if you scroll down here you can download Rufus from here and it's really simple. And after you get this you just select your pen drive here and then the ISO that you just downloaded so this one and then select the partition scheme to whichever you have so if you have MBR which I, I am highly sure you have and then uh, get leave everything as is so it shouldn't matter that much what you do here and just hit start and then this will delete any data you have on your pen drive so make sure you back up everything so if you have anything important in your pen drive or uh, anything that of use then make sure to back that up so after you have done that and you are ready to format your drive just hit ok like i mean the pen drive not your system drive and then just wait for this to complete and this should make your pen drive a bootable usb then uh, I'll just let it finish and then I'll show you what you should expect to see. So once this is ready, that means we are ready to get into this pen drive. So this is what you should be greeted with. So if you see something like this and uh, there, th there are some uh, text right in the bottom. So if you see something like this and there are text in the bottom that means that your pen drive is working and it should start fairly soon so now you just hit enter to continue and then just hit enter sorry hit f8 to accept the terms and condition or end user license sorry and then you should see a uh, unpartition space so for me it's a 20 gigabyte space and you should see your hard drive or ssd or whatever in here and as you can see at the top it says mbr so i'm using a virtual machine to show you how this is done but for you it should show what type of data or what type of partition scheme does your hard disk use so this should give you a fairly good indicator that what type of uh, partition that you're using now that you're here you just have to hit enter and since this is an another coded space, so you shouldn't worry that much. And then we have what we have to do is just format the partition using the NTFS file format. So this is the file format that Windows usually uses. So then we just hit enter. And then it should just format and start installing Windows XP. And just sit tight and wait for a bit, and it should be done in. Uh, it should be done depending on your hard drive speed. Again, these things will depend on your hard drive speed. I'm using an SSD, so it is going quite fast. So now it will just reboot and start installing XP. By start installing, I mean it will just get into a more GUI type of look. You can just hit enter to reboot, but I'll just wait it out. And just don't click anything here, just leave it as is. So it will, should boot into XP at this point. And by booting into XP, I mean that it should go continue on to the setup process. So the next steps that are required to complete the setup. So 
now it will ask for the language that you want to use so for me it's the default thing that i use so it's english and then here is name of your company or your name i'll just type and then the product key remember how we uh, said that we need a product key and that was written in the website so you it should be a really good time to pull that up right now uh, mostly because we need that so hold up so i pulled it up on my second monitor so i'll just type it out right now there we go so now we hit next and then uh, if you want to set an administrator password you can do that i won't set anything then if i do next and this will uh this will tell you to set your time so the time zone should be here your time zone you need to set that time zone from here what the heck then just go next and then it should complete the install and this is how it says 28 27 minutes so if you're doing this on a hard drive that should be the speed that you should expect and if you find this video helpful until now then hit the like and subscribe okay so here it will automatically adjust my visuals so yeah whatever okay now it's booting into XP. So it's now the set of screens. So And that's basically it. That's how you install XP in 2023. And it's very simple. It's a really simple operating system. It's really fast because, well, there is not much to do here. Uh, you can even check out the legendary tax manager. So, there you go. As you can see, my CPU usage is really low. So if you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.